In addition to manually creating selections, you can also automatically generate selections based on the luminance, color, and other properties of a source image or layer. I'll select the donut layer. Then from the select menu, I will choose auto select. This can also be found in the properties bar when a selection tool is active. Auto select offers a menu with a few sources to generate a selection from. Image luminance will generate a selection based on the lightness and darkness of the selected layer. I'll generate a selection from the luminance of my donut layer. I'll hide the donut group and then fill a new layer named tinting with a blue color. Once I deselect, you can see that a ghostly blue donut was created. When I filled the selection, the color respected the transparency of the selection, giving me a tint that is opaque in dark areas and transparent in light areas. If I show my donut group, you can see that the tint is strongest in the dark areas of the donut. The white sprinkles appear to be unaffected. Let's clear the tinting layer, and on the donut layer, we'll try another auto select mode called original luminance. Because this mode is going to generate a selection based on the luminance of the currently selected clone source, let's open the photo art palette drawer and see what is selected as the clone source. Currently pattern is selected, but I can also choose from a texture or an embedded image, which can be a different image altogether. I'll choose texture as the clone source and the high tech texture. I'll deselect and reapply the original luminance selection. Now when I fill my tinting layer with blue, I get a circuit board texture that I can apply over my donut. After applying an overlay composite method and a lower opacity, online ordering for a donut shop comes to mind. Let's clear the paint for the tinting layer and bring the opacity back up to 100%. Next is the auto select mode for current color. This mode can hunt for a specific color, the currently selected color in the source layer, and it will generate a selection around that color. For example, I can sample the pink from the frosting and auto select that. When I fill that tint layer with the same pink color and change the layer back to default, you can see that exact pink was included in the selection and nothing else. It's also possible to create a selection based on the luminance of a paper texture. This creates a silhouette from the shape of the layer and subtracts the paper texture from it. There is also a mode called 3D brush strokes, which you can use with the cloning feature. I'll skip over that, but you can learn more about it in the Corel Painter help guide. You can also invert the selection using the checkbox in the auto select panel. In the case of image luminance, Inverting makes the selection more opaque in light areas and more transparent in dark areas. Let's look at a practical example of how you might want to use auto select. Though you intended for it to be on a separate layer, it's not uncommon to accidentally draw your line art on the canvas layer. Or maybe you drew your lines on paper and then scanned it. And if I want this ink to be separate from the white canvas, I can choose auto select, choose the image luminance mode, and uninvert it. A selection has been created that excludes white. I'll cut and paste the ink onto a new layer that I will name ink. I'll hide the canvas layer, and you can see that the ink is now separate from the background. If I hide the ink layer and look at the canvas, you may see some remnants of lines where the selection excluded some of the gray pixels. You can fill the canvas with white to cover this. I'll fill it with a dark red instead so we can see the quality of the selection. As you can see, Auto Select did a decent job of selecting only the ink lines, but it did exclude some dark pixels and included some light ones. I'll need to set the ink layer to multiply to make the white edges disappear. Or I can enable Preserve Transparency and fill the lines to make them a solid color. I'll disable Preserve Transparency. This technique works well for separating black lines from a white canvas, but it does not work very well on images where color has been merged with a line art. In addition to auto selecting, there is also a method of generating a selection called color select. You can see a preview of the color range that will be selected, and you can drag the view to reposition it. I'll place the view on the subject in this painting, and I'll click on the canvas to choose the color I'd like to sample. I'll select the blue from the sky, and you can see that my preview turns red in that area, indicating that range of colors will be selected. I can select a range based on the hue saturation, and value of colors in the image. By moving the range slider, I can encompass a wider or narrower range of colors. Adjusting the feather slider 
will sharpen or soften the edges of the selection. Hue looks for differences in the hue of the color. Saturation looks at the differences in color intensity. And value looks at the differences in brightness. I can get a decent selection of the sky with the range of the hue set to 25%, the range of the saturation set to 75%, and the range of the value set to 50%. Feathering should be at 100% for all three sliders. I'll apply color select, and I will create a new layer, set it to color burn, and fill it with pink. I'll reduce the opacity of the layer, and now I have changed the color of the sky.